Arohada o kisigi, horoye denebenen da Dr. Boo Nigren, ato mo dinjigonen da anisho, hodri nahot leithon gija. Hanastzi, to khadashi, khadaso kisigi, kyehen ki dini de leith, ah si yego. Ayo bohone tlihli, hodri Thursday, nahal jisho, di shete ne khanne, bachin hote shlil to taho nithli gida. Baby thin da hote shnin so, binye, abindo. Nadish na to hodo sar bik in nashni lebi e kehen ke di ni dole jun ke a hui jun ha na shado a si na nishtan tazgi do da hon nesigi ha joben ke nashni ebe a kehen ke di ni dole a do ha da ok kesigi jun ke ne ke ni nashni hodo ha ne ha nish in so ban sis keso a do kashi dole upcoming holidays or appreciation days Tuesday was the second Navajo Women's Warrior Day di si a si yego ne sani as a last sort and lenigi, be honey, benia, le the modona kinda and nishone, be honey, John, but she is legit and lenigi, ah, her you, as a last son that lay low beninachi, ah, she be honey, had no yet but ho up, ah, do Lillian Lujan, a World War Two, a hot ocean of the first Native American woman to enlist in the army, ah, do Mary Coho was the first woman VA director. Ado today a marine Bobby Ann Baldwin lo ko ay shanad nish the never salat so Washington but yun na hot igi ay bananish yosin so asin juno shanad nish ah huwag yun as chance salat so as yeh ko but yun da huwag na ro sa tushin na ro biga la da da nish ah hot ende as ay ginel anit oh na shanad nish ah jum at our local announcements, the Navajo Nation Scholarship Office 2024-2025 online application is now open. The AC, the Nebel Washington, the Bay, so he gives in Benyei Desh Tratan Zenigi, Eya Beninachi, Skin Lodole, just at the AC, last minute, just in Hoyaida, Bay so but also Nida Nisha, Ebina Kanda, and the idea of Nestable Dor Nil Kalchendo, Nida in Strauda, E Hot Edel, Eshin, CIB, Letter of Admission, Transcripts, Financial Need Analysis, Degree Checklist, and your schedule. At that, and again, a yep, out of home, a dish net on a song, a one eight hundred two four three twenty nine fifty six dole. Out of Navo Nation, welcome baby celebration. First Lady, Hojia, Le Asana, Hajit, the Neha, way, Hon, Anita, Zlinigin, the Has Chinigi, Ben, yeah, welcome at the deal, Nils, Hunt, no, yeah, your days, uh, April eighteen, twenty twenty four. Eshi ad and away yaje asa andez asa de bana kedo khashi da haljishi wan kashin da hedo ish behod zil fighting scouts event center in fort defiance eshi wa amait lenigido jait lenigido beninache alada giveaways that enigida diapers do alada enigida kuishin hot ocean the never be kata it yo was amado jad and lenigi Sata heit o la hajo amado aja des etlendo hajo nan tenigi. Eda y nacheda eda hidos al ebin ye huabas ho a jo first lady benan tenanoe. Ah, si as chinias and jono de no se to hajo bejiat do hajo del zendo hajo ba hayanigi. E yan se kesa bini nacha. E hot o. Welcome baby celebration, Bisho. Ah, is she in Kash Chindo and Kaso Kedo that any gida? April 18th, mark your calendars, the Bilo Nisha. Winter Rock Scouts Arena, Fort Defiance. Auto missing Navajo people from Shiprock District. 16 year old Angel Ben Begay, last seen in Sanasti. He's 4 foot 11, 125 pounds. Is she in Ashki Yajin Lon? She helped in Tra. Because about the house in the A torture, Salabach at the house in 505 368 1350. Auto located Navajo people. Katrina Benali, who was reported missing March 3rd, has been located. Eshi hot up and a host in the big aid and lenigi. Arashi Tranatza do Cheba Heliaha. E hot oh, Satoshi at the Ashwadigi. He had dole. What is happening in the world? Washington state man pleads guilty to eagle killing spree to sell feathers, body parts on the black market. Deshi atza 
Ah, see, the East King of Yanigi, Travis John Branson, 48 Benachaga. Ah, see, at San Lenigi, the Quishi Nest said, it's not 4,000, 3,600 Nest said, Oshin, but ah, the Shanahan Nito Lil Do, but Kate the Shanahan Nito. She wait, oh, yen so bansish case, de ah, see, at Sa Dilzena, Beni Nacha, ah, who you chin, get the name, Chidahos, and eh, a hot order, Washington State order, the Cushy Nest said on the Flathead Indian Reservation in Montana. Ah, you a hot ohila. He pled guilty. Ishi benina si yego dia at sa dilzin. Do but since clizzy dea eagle feathers be the holondo lisa noya di the sladin hearts of car Washington be his ani hadalia. Cheshito but since clizzin linigi. A one hundred thousand dollar fine eagle feathers that nail. Ebedina, ehoto, what's happening in the world? Eshihoto, Arohone Nanagi, this time in history, the creation of the Peace Corps, 1952, Senator Brian McMahon of Connecticut suggested an army of young American men and women to bring democracy to other countries. Ehoto, Ebedina, che, ah, se, yego, hadadol, ni, hat, no, kade di, about 235,000 Americans have joined. As international volunteers, John F. Kennedy, in 1961, this time in history, Navajo life lesson. Our children are gifts. Dilzendon, Cas Chinda Holonigi, Beni Nacheta Neat, Eish Noya, Ebenina Amado, Aja Etlenigi, and Kawe Chidl Tloho is considered their first laugh. Tell the world hears their first laugh. They are considered holy beings. The neck etchen and Tinigi, Doha Awe Chidl Tloco, Aja, the Indene, the Halon Banza, Kis Chidl Tlo, Becado E. Ah, Nicole Cottonet, the last Latin Linigi, he lay at Noya, Badahan now. The first years of life is critical for a child's brain development. Le Chinias no Seteda, then sick case, do yen sick case again. Hajo Dilzen, Ebony Natcha, Hajo Nan Tindo, Bits East Ba Hanganigi Beninachi, Alchinias, then no Setagi, Hajo Bijatki, do deet o a la Elchagil in. This week's life lesson, our children are gifts. A few of the week's accomplishments. I signed a $7.8 million contract with Source Global PBC for solar-powered hydro panels. But Ado Tho Adawal Nil Khat Nenegi Ah Si Ye Da Tez Tha Ebeni Nacha Hawadan Le Ah Si Te Ne Dan Zga De Da Baga Nagi Do Kha De Shin Kui Si Tsin Se Tha Aden Da Thun E Ha No Da Thun Adol E To Bi Ga Ta Pe So Ba A Ten Da Ba De Nenegi E Ye A Hawadan Sa Ban Da Hai Di Yo Nil A Stant Seven Liters Of Water Hone La A Day the sky water, but the snow has a baby's house a snap. The solar panel, but it's out of out on the next ship. It's out of to a key is a hob in the nature. When they lot seven liters of water a day, a hot on the no and get the net to be the hot load of it. Five hundred and eighty four homes. John Lay sat as in the garden, the double gun sat the chitty bed at the door, sat base of it, are they shot, are they tonight? This ne, the big at the dan, and again, eh, banda he don't need no yet, eh, hot o contract sign each lap a last asleep, eh, she hot o sat and get in there, baby card, I do, was only, lay hodina, go shilto, lay she, hot o shil has adano soda and kitchen the hot osne. The Navajo Nation President's Office. She hot energy added behind Ziggy. A hot okay when she in late on the hash ye hot wheat lanigi. Ah, sins rado she chid it then do big a hash it then. A hot at energy the ne hot obey building does any give a card or what hot no yet hydro panels hot no but the jip. Ado Kienta IHS VA Grand Opening Northern Arizona VA Healthcare System. Partnered with IHS to provide primary care services for our Navajo veterans. The Twadinesh Jade Zeish Enbethas Anigi Khwaya Aalya, the VA 
ahut on ke salal so ba kha na wo don ke salal so ahut o e don zgad le khos to don le so le to bel dil da san le le da a si bi chitan za a yi do sha kha to wo tan zo e hwa ba a za do le a li ga e hut on le aron na kin de ze de da e le chin li de sa a hut o a li ga pe ni na chen ke salal so a hui che president's office a de shi li na ho kha si ndre kha dil wo da ne ne a sho at za ho ho e ro to ba ya at ke ne ka de jeno at za salat so dan sene gi ka shi chin li no ki yen ta a de shi no li in kha ne ne gi kha ba ho ne za do le ado nevo nation primary election date has changed for 2024 i signed an emergency legislation to move the navajo nation primary election to july 30th jobani nanige le khos to ha zo je aj le a de de is anige bini na che e hot o a khelt e do le no e hot o da e ni to le to e utah or new mexico jo e ta but primaries in june jo e ai ta de je to le hot end ni khini ge e arizona bel to le no e july 30th e hot o da e ni to le hot o e jo be khanas je lan ke de nam but kho do but che de do la ta ten ge bini na che a uh, same day at liago a uh, you can vote in state and navajo elections though they primaries a hot o get by the house and though they auto navajo nation police department graduates class of 59 seven new police officers to the force a hot o ban ke da hojon so sit one la so la na hasli auto ke kha na da hot o na che na da e lo kha ne ni to so la wa si ye go bet to ye hot end so la de sle sle gi to bet to ye ke al chen don ke ke dan de ni gi so la de sle ta na so e na wan nation police department which da to sle so la de sle he kha de la na so sle de so sta do no da ban da no kha e hot e lo class is 60 da et kha ta na sle do le Auto I attended the Western and Northern Agency Council meetings. Ah, si hoden khadi na ta nena asho. Ara ta hon shlonde den hotso de Western Agency Council meeting ta na zleben an dan lenigi lasasli don jono be kisin da hasis ne. Standa zina ke heilkin ara kisin da hoil ne do na ada sabich na shni da. Khodo ya jo ta na zle do besh ma sa an a ni tene shibol khan jo kisin del ne sto jo el che ya del ke ya ne him de ne be chen da hasit egin jono che da del ne de sno yo ban ha sa e be na che ya han ke di ni do de then the hotso chapter do western agency council meetings you know get in the house and also on an at send out a watch and late court northern agency council meeting are so standards in a kid over on kale kid get in the house now so she brought chapter officials down and again he had get in it you know plus it lead on you know get in the house you know don't get that is i have a job is in the house you know you know Dobin in a chasha deal nishigi, you na deal nish to lit. Eh, he had he didn't need a not in it, cartnaz nilibin and adan or sengi, chun he in hini nachet and juno, hold jish to hold tosle. Dobe hanasti, the nibin and abba de shatan or soy, and kebesh masa unpitia or kregea, ard or hodina, a satti tlejo, she the nether shishian naho kahigi, di delch at the deal nish and nigi, a yona edish kid. Haila aita na so skada dosa haila so aita bin dasolnes to ti deshes has anigi de mendamanta a bahazin bin ka de shosigi hajo beshin da hasne e hot o dot skiso ka i yen da bedishni e hot e do lesh to adon da isan sanction and a aro khada o kesigi he ha do lesh ano ten de Auto I signed a 1.1 million domestic violence shelter contract with TCAF is residential area for 45 beds overnight eh to peso be bich hotel ya the ne bich da nanigi domestic violence shelters eh to on juno be ka il godolis auto major projects I'm working on we announced the home of the Navajo PRCA rodeo to be held May 31st through June 2nd a kasi dan lenigi Eric Rogers, Aaron Sinajini, Derek Begay, Jackie Hill, Aro Terra Seaton, E Adie, the Nebenan Abbas Anigi, Sheikh Haidon Le Logo, Nenigi Bikahon Aschant, or Poster Igi, Unveil Adelia, Eshihot, or Mark your calendars, March 31st through June 2nd. 
Winter Rock, Arizona, the PRCA will be in town. Ah, uh, see, son, Kashin, a Kasi dish, Les Dobe, Kashi Dobe, Ni, Do, the Kui Gushi, you nutch it at that. And again, Aden Kahido, Kacho, Bini Nutch it. Rodeo athletes from all over the world, she added the whole lot of Les, will be on Cowboy Channel, Les Dobe. Ah, see, Bini Nutch it. Navajo Nation, Kat Nido Les, Bini Nutch it. Tanada need after Les, and he can rodeo and Juno. Mark your calendars, though. Auto General Services finalizing the request for proposal on heavy equipment. Pandemic machinery that at any procurement day lado the John Lee Navigation Washington office is that base had a nest can do beni nothing John no che de deal in ton heavy equipment just che de deal nish no ikat ye deal nish. Arohne nange meet and greets grand opening of the Basenti Veterans Center. Shero arohne shloda ne hot end and le shaket da satanegi. Rochelle Montoya hundi nas but there's no. E arre tchana rande. Dobeni na chenjono kin yat egi nils. It's four thousand square foot building. Basenti Chapters Veterans Organization, New Mexico Indian Affairs. The five hundred nine thousand ye el wood. Aro Basenti Chapters the ninety four thousand. Out of two point one million, they still have some funding. You know, can need to be in touch. It's going to start a nation. Eh, she had a ah, she did not see that. Nene, what in a be good or be honest? The yeah, she very good. Then about Washington, who have been just angry. And now what? Do not so send them to him. Do shut a nation. Do be honest. Then about Washington, who jo as she does not do who jo so angry. Then who jo it is noise. What's that? Then again, yeah, who is it? Be nice. Then show it. Have been nice. Then who the are the shots? Then send them to him. Then who the other? Then shut the e on the five, six, seven or eight o'clock. The shut the other. Then then be the shots. Then who do shut the other? Then send the list to him. Ah, see the never end. Ah, just long. You can't be everywhere. A hot end. I've been there. I need to. A hot end. She can't. That's a danigi. Rochelle Montoya. It's that. Ah, the shot had a gas. The door shut yesterday. The door. You know, she had to buy yesterday. You the never Washington. They are. She had a gas. A hot or she. She bought a hot and no sandals. Ah, the one in Anigi. The bell deal. That's the nilde. The Seattle. They are in Anstaneda. So, I caught the last game. Navajo prep. I was able to watch the Kirtland Broncos win the 4A state championship game. The 35 state championship games. In 1979. I was able Go Broncos and Kadini the Janon Kalchin Lady Broncos and Janon Dahones Nanigi Yat Etole. I look forward to coming out there and congratulating you guys. I saw Asha Bahonet and Eto Janon Dahones Na. Auto upcoming events a Tribal Interior Budget Council. Eka Adenasha Washington. Clear Ade Shalit Ato Hode Washington. Bidda Det Egido Bandas Nishigi Bekit and the Hashnet. The peso ya hot ya egi do peso da bache na hot egi. Kajo do le ka no da e ar atana shado peso ma sa anuto hoden da kre ad kuishi hoden da kre speaker curly da e hoden so atahon lo. Aro e ao Navajo Department of Health will host a St Patrick's Day 5K run Navajo Nation Fairgrounds at Kande de Shorta na so the race. And registration opens at 4.30 out of 5.30. Don't you have to say this evening. T-shirts will be given to the first 50 registered participants. Say this evening. Wind Rock Fairgrounds. Eshi hoje na holji zole. Akhya hain ke dini zole. Ado shik e do shidane. Ado khada o kisigi. Akhya hain ke dini zole. E bini nachin ke chan hanasi. Ado shin ha zo khil nada hosne. Yeah, the Nebanan Abanan Nishiket had a Rahigi. Ah, which Thursday in Kitchen Nahas Netato Nenegi. Jun Hain Hast in San Francis Kesa, see Abinish Anit Osha da Inish do Sate, Peso da Baosate, Eos Kishigi da Baosate, Shandas Nishki da Baonde. Oh, what end? Abonet Zanit or da Inish do Hada Inosne. Better not under the Shni Hat in it, the name of Washington Yandas Nishigi. Dr. Boo Nigrin, the Nebanan Ahanen Kitchen, Anish Ladolet, Don Juno, 
Hagoshita do Kredo Hagoshi Lada Bansa da Kesgi Lashi Asi Eta Hosata Ado Sashida Kikeda and Lenigi the Yego bits Easter that any gibbit in the Hoy Nanigi. So that of Zendo, Hajo, Yo, Nebe, she as Tai not Hando Lit. Ebe, a Kahan Kedini do Lit, though next week she do Lit, Hagone. Yet a Shikado Shadina. So good to be here with you today. Uh, I'm actually down here in Phoenix today. Um, started off the day at a press conference on the Senate lawn here at the Capitol building in Arizona. Um, was joining in support of Senator Hatatli's bill uh, to provide greater protections for our people in the sober living homes context. Um, that's SB 1655. Um, Delegate Slater was also there, as well as Delegate Helena Nesbegay. Um, it's it's a really uh, incredible full circle, I think, for Senator Hatakli, especially if this moves forward. Uh, that bill is up for passage today, so she. Um, and uh, happy to be here to support her. As you all know, uh, we remain under a declaration of emergency for the nation with respect to the sober living home debacle that's happening in the state of Arizona. Uh, we continue to see our people displaced from that process. We, Because of the displacement, we know that there are still bad actor facilities operating uh, that our people are placed with. Um, so make sure to check on your loved ones if they are down in the valley seeking behavioral health services. Um, make sure that they're in a safe facility. Um, make sure it's not on the list of bad actor facilities. That list can be found on the ACCESS website. There's also a link to it on the Operation Rainbow Bridge page uh, that the Navajo Nation operates. Operation Rainbow Bridge is our emergency response. Um, so it was really great to be there and speak in support of the bill so that there can be actual accountability in how the American Indian fee for pay program is managed in the state of Arizona. There really is this huge regulatory gap um, where every other Arizonan who accesses behavioral health care through the state MCO managed care organization has relatively good protections, but there aren't similar protections for American Indians through the access funded program. Uh, so again, make sure to check on your family members, remind people if you don't know the person, don't go if, if they're out recruiting in the communities. And we have seen an evolution in how those bad actors are doing their recruiting. Uh, originally, it was notorious that um, they would come out in white vans, so people need to look out for that. But as awareness grew, uh, the problem has kind of evolved. Um, and so they're using different types of vehicles. We're seeing pickup trucks, uh, regular cars. Uh, so just remember, to, to look out for yourself and for your loved ones, uh, remind people that this is still an issue. Um, the number of, of our relatives we've seen displaced from these bad actor facilities at this point is over a thousand, uh, 1,400 and I believe 16. Uh, so that number continues to grow every week by 20 or 40 at a time. Uh, depending on if there's a large enforcement action that can, can increase the number uh, 50 people at a time. So um, again, we're, we're continuing to respond at the nation, continuing to transport our loved ones home. Um, and our behavioral health program is continuing to do a lot of really great work to bring the assistance that our people need home to the nation. Um, and I apologize, you're going to hear the light train, light rail go by. So you'll hear some dinging in the background. Um, and then I'm also down here tomorrow for um, our Arizona water rights settlement negotiations. Those remain ongoing. Uh, earlier today, we were interviewed on Native America Calling, so please tune into that. I'm going to post a link on my Facebook page. Um, really great interview. It included Chuck Collin from the upper, uh, the UCRC, Upper Colorado River Commission, uh, who was speaking. It was great to see him there in solidarity with us. Um, and I, I was kind of hoping they were going to ask him more questions about our settlement, uh, but unfortunately didn't get the opportunity. And I'm, I'm hoping that they'll invite us back. Uh, but that, that interview will give you a nice glimpse of what is in the settlement 
as you guys know, we've posted the settlement summary on our website, uh, actually on the Water Rights Commission website. Um, and there are also links on my Facebook page, uh, as well as the Water Rights Commission's Facebook page. That's actually the best place to go for information about our Arizona settlement. And just a heads up to folks, we actually finalized our one of our New Mexico settlements recently in the last couple of weeks. So it's kind of jumped ahead of the Arizona settlement. Uh, we were hoping to have the Arizona settlement final by March 1, just to kind of meet the congressional timeline that we were aiming for. Um, and, and it just wasn't possible. It's a 200 plus page document and everybody just wants to make sure that the language is the way it needs to be to make sure that um, everything is correct, uh, that everybody is in agreement. And this is a very complex multi-party agreement that includes uh, at least 39 parties. Um, and so, so it is complex and we're giving the process a little more time, the time that the process demands uh, in order for us to get this right. Uh, but we are still continuing to drive forward and try to bring this to a close because we do have those time constraints um, that we're dealing with. And we wanna get this through this Congress. We wanna get this president to sign off on this and his Department of Interior and Secretary to, to help us move this forward or at least initiate this, get it off the ground. Um, so we're continuing to work on that. But going back to the New Mexico settlement, you guys are actually gonna see that legislation drop very soon as well uh, because we have the agreement final there. And that is a settlement that relates to the Rio San Jose Basin as well as the Rio Puerco Basin. Um, and we've been doing public meetings for both of these settlements in Arizona and New Mexico. We actually have our third phase of public meetings initiating on Saturday. Um, we're starting out in, uh, I believe, Inscription House. Um, and then I think on Sunday we're going to be in Shanto and we'll be presenting every day through Friday of next week. Uh, the itinerary is on the Water Rights Commission Facebook page and website as well as uh, on my Facebook page. And um, in, in New Mexico, those have been ongoing as well. And we're gonna initiate a new phase uh, of the public meetings to educate the public about what's in those settlements in New Mexico in the state in, in the month of April. Uh, but we do expect the legislation for both of our settlements to drop in the month of April. Um, and we are trying our best to get federal legislation to drop, uh, approving those settlements in the month of April as well. That, that's what we're hoping for. But again, you know, these are huge, these are our, our high stakes agreements. And certainly for Arizona, we want to make sure that the agreement is the way we want it to be um, before we finalize it. So uh, you'll see more on all of that. Uh, just stay tuned. I'm always posting stuff on my Facebook page about our water rights settlements and negotiations. And of course the Water Rights Commission is doing the same and, and is actually better and more active. Uh, they're, they're generating the materials so they post it in real time. I'm just kind of trying to like catch up when I can uh, and, and trying to pass on that information as well. And actually last night we had a really great radio forum. Um, we've tried different formats for our radio forum. We actually had some really great input from the president uh, on, on how to improve our radio forums, make them more engaging um, and, and, and more meaningful to the public. And so we employed some, of, implemented some of his suggestions. Um, and so hopefully um, you guys appreciated those changes. This week, it was myself and Assistant Attorney General Michelle Brown Espino presenting, uh, kind of conversational like. Um, and next week, we're gonna have a very similar presentation, very similar style uh, presented in Navajo. Um, and actually the, the Arizona public meeting um, series that's gonna kick off on Saturday is going to be, our goal is to have that primarily in Navajo, um, but we did have some challenges. I think we're not gonna have our presenter uh, available on Saturday and Sunday. So we might have to mix it up and have it in English on Saturday and Sunday. But our goal is to transition that to fully Navajo. That's what we're hearing from the people and the public. Uh, and we wanna be responsive to that, so. But um, at the very least, uh, next week's radio forum, we do it every Wednesday at 6 p.m. on KTNN. Uh, that, that will be in Navajo next Wednesday. Um, so please tune in. We've also shortened the length of the, um, the radio forums. They were running three hours. We're reducing that to two hours. 
Um, and so, you know, we, we don't get through all of the questions that the public asks us, and they're really great questions. We, we are thankful for the questions that you're providing and your high level of engagement. Uh, but we do our best to answer those questions and still get through the content uh, that we feel that the public needs to know about the settlements. Um, so anyway, uh, great to join you guys today. And I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, my Mom, little guy Mom, I need to go pee. giving me instructions. <laughs> so, thank pee. you. Have a great day. Mom, I'm not uh, uh, yeah, um... Adi Hanat so kids do kado na da is no tsaki she Thomas Cody when she has had on so that the sani but she I don't know kai the net that she do my this kids in the I got a lay loop that in a shadow quite the division of social service but had no a agent the initiative agent large the setta I do this office the economy na she do quite uh Division of Social Service Community Outreach no chapters next not is it go a eastern Navajo are president <laughs> Executive Director Executive Director the Financial Assistant Unit to AB Beso, the Net Dehegi, A Quiet of Base Nine two eight eight seven one six five five six in the hast edo na kido se to se to da sa estra do estla estla do hastra e aja ni hicho ho dos ne ek di beso pa ko do be ek han da awoki sa pa na hato shikito do ni sa e ko sa ni hicho ho do se ko di ka se beso be be ka han da awoki nin ke lai wa chapter <laughs> Na din slago a white cone a do sawmill a na din to the twenty seventh a koi a day ni dan da kedo a day da yo nisto le eighty twin um next a da zlini the keda den tlino da edo da be kwa shikado was no do nito ni go e a de be ba do ha a do twin chunch e da zlini to shahai do 
no treatment for children and their families but the da Nine two eight eight seven one seven six seven nine. Last edo na kido to se be se be do to se do has tado to se do na to se do na to se do na to se do na to do na to se do na to so there's the Badas Nego Evatai, Aji Days, Nis Ado Pesos, Ayanis, Yanis, Nelako, A. D. Quaki, a scarf on the Ne College, the A. D. Jordan Net Action Plan, the Bedit Nobe, the Nis Nis, put the best one, Anado, President, though, um, Lacha and Hoy Ahija, Lacha the Sadaishima, Jane James, A. Lacha Sneedy. Eat <laughs> Halet out as Lehota, Nila did the Nay action plan with the Niniki, a quae, a shea art and a ado, a large as a daiki arches, Nahin and Michael Henderson, a quae, is his Nahas netto lefty, Haish art at the Ne, Halet arti had has any cart or jazza, but no a substance abuse, ado, domestic violence, ado corny, case of it, how your zedo, suicide prevention. Capacity building the A quite a year in his hot net the left the after but the net no a quite a base his the hot deal net. Auto child care development fund or is net con center uh child care centers nas nil a which a hot ocean and a nine two eight eight seven one six six two nine nast eight on a kid or tp tpido as to sit or as a Ado has trado has trado na kido nast age. E ko beso sa ado nesnel. A shisha action sa tol keba a hashiado le. Sa nala keba a hashiado le. No zigo na ha hot e beso paholo e ado child care development fund. Is a na ha do le. Ado e di nihitri aslado le. Ado nihit e. President 
Indian Child Welfare Act is Department of Justice Indian Child Welfare Act. Nikh <laughs> Mike <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm very excited to, to be able to provide some information uh, this afternoon to all of you that are uh, <clears throat> watching or listening today. Um, we've had some uh, some changes within the Division of Natural Resources, which I am the executive director of. And uh, one of the, the, the major changes as of January is the FAIR office. Uh, the fair office was within the Department of Agriculture for a number of years, uh, responsible for putting on uh, various different events down at the fairgrounds, including the Navajo Nation Fair in September. Uh, and so in, in January, we, we made some changes and thought, how could we improve? How can we make things better, make things more exciting uh, during the events? And so we evaluated past events, and then we brought on uh, an all Navajo women business, and their expertise is events. And so we were able to contract them, bring them on board, and provide them all the background information. As they went through, they found out, you know, what what where the challenges are, how could we improve. Uh, what are some of the things we need to get prepared for uh, to be able to do that? And one of the most uh, most recent or the closest events coming is actually the um, the uh, uh, PRCA rodeo that we hold every year. Normally, it's on Fourth July, but what we've done at the division is, along with our events uh, organizers, is that. Uh, we looked around the country and we said, there are a lot of shows during the 4th of July. So our professional cowboys are going to some of the different shows the 4th of July, and they're not coming to the uh, to Navajo Nation. Uh, why is that? Well, one is because there's other shows that they can go to that have uh, larger uh, added monies and... There's a, a large selection to choose from. And so strategically, we said, that area is we should cover. What if we move the PRCA rodeo to the last part of May and the 1st of June? And we looked at the schedule, and that was an open schedule uh, in the PRCA uh, calendar. Um, so with our plan, we put things together. Uh, we uh, Last Tuesday or this Tuesday, um, President Nydren rolled out the uh, event, what is now called Home of the Navajo, the Nebikea PRCA Rodeo, which will be March, 
uh, which will be uh, at, at the end of May and then first and second of, of, of June. And so um, it was it's really exciting to be able to be a part of that. Um, also, when we were looking and put the, the RFP that was put out to all the professional contractors, um, one contractor really stood out um, of the production that they provide, uh, the quality of livestock that they have. Um, they're um, uh, always known for providing uh, great uh, performances, such as the Houston Rodeo that just finished in Houston, Texas. And the stock contractor that we have contracted uh, for our uh, home of the Navajo, the Nebuchadnezzar Pro Rodeo, is Survey uh, Productions. Survey is well known in, in, in the rodeo world um, of being able to provide the best. Um, and so, you know, that alone is the, you know, the Survey Championship Rodeo Company uh, puts on many shows. Uh, this coming weekend, they're in Queen Creek. And so on Tuesday, um, we had Binion Survey, who is the manager uh, for the company, come and uh, participate in our rollout. And he's excited to come. He's already assured us that all the number one stock, all the world champion stock uh, finishing Houston are now resting and they're going to be brought in and until our show here uh, in Wonder Rock. And that's when the first time they'll start bucking again um, for in, in, in the rodeo circuit. So that's exciting. Uh, we've also had our own Navajo professional rodeo athletes also want to be a part of. They're kind of the honorary uh, rodeo committee providing guidance and saying this is what this is what athletes are looking for. This is what helps determine where they go. And of course, uh, you know they're they're working directly with all the professional cowboys out there. And so they're able to talk with them um, and, and, to, and, and be able to uh, um, promote um, this event coming up. So uh, who we had with us um, uh, the, uh, this Tuesday at the rollout is that we had uh, Eric Rogers, uh, Aaron Sinai, Jenny, Derek Begay was here with us. And then the INFR world champion, Tara Seton, was with us. And then we had Mr. Hale, the uh, uh, champion uh, bull rider, uh, also came. They're excited about this event and being able to also be a part of it. And so uh, that was that was really uh, exciting to have them here uh, as part of the uh, rollout and meeting and greeting uh, a lot of the uh, rodeo fans. Of course, the Navajo Nation has the best rodeo fans across, uh, in, in, in the world. And, and so we had quite a few people come uh, that evening, Tuesday evening. We also had the meet and greet. Uh, we had uh, uh, local businesses come and pledge their uh, support uh, and looking to become a sponsor uh, for the event. And so that was also uh, really exciting. And so with the support of President Nigren and uh, his office and, and, and within the Division of Natural Resource, you know, we look to be able to provide a quality, um, an, an, extra, uh, an extraordinary uh, event uh, this coming year. And, and there's also going to be some a little bit of the changes um, as far as what our other events are going to be. Um, instead of having a concert, uh, we're kind of going back and in, into history and said the biggest things were country western dances. And so two of those nights will have different um, entertainers, will have different uh, uh, bands um, that will be also be showcased um, those two nights and provide uh, uh, live music and, you know, going back to the uh, 
to the Western dances. Um, so make sure everybody uh, get your boot polished up, um, get your Western attire ready because uh, it, it's going to be an incredible time. Uh, we'll have a trade show. Uh, and if you've been to Vegas, you've seen uh, Cowboy Christmas. You see a lot of the different brands that come in and provide uh, merchandise. Uh, we're going to do something similar. And we also want to showcase all of our artisans. You know, if you look, if you go anywhere, any rodeo, you're starting to see all of our artisans art being worn by all the rodeo goers, whether it's a, 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 a concho belt or if it's a bracelet, rings, uh, they're, they're, everybody is looking as looking at our arts and craft here for the Navajo Nation. And so that's going to be a, a part of the event uh, to make it uh, more uh, involvement from the community. And, and that's why the, the, the theme, Home of the Navajo, the Nebikeya, is that that's what we want to showcase. Our culture, our tradition, our, our, our art, um, our, our connection with our land, and of course, with, with our uh, livestock. And so that is why we picked the theme as well, is to be able to um, support uh, our, our communities and have them become a part of this event. We want to showcase them all uh, in, in this event. So make sure you mark your calendars. Uh, we're also going to add a couple events that you don't really see at some of these uh, pro rodeos, um, especially here on Navajo. We're going to have the, the women's um, breakaway roping and barrel racing competition. We're also going to have the PRCA steer roping competition. And so, you know, these are added events for being provided by the athletes themselves is that if you added this event, if you had this, we're coming and we're going to bring all of our fans, our, our colleagues in the business, and we're going to uh, really promote it so we can have everybody come and participate and also at the same time showcase the Navajo Nation. So with that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, I, I just want to make sure I share that with you. Um, mark it on your calendar. Uh, we're looking forward to you, for you to be able to join us and uh, participate. And if, you, if you'd like to join the team uh, to help in any way, make sure you contact us at Division of Natural Resources. Say, I want to be a part of the PRCA rodeo team. We'll be more than happy uh, to, to have you on board. And so with that, ladies and gentlemen, Good afternoon again. Uh, my name is Tom Patero with the Navajo uh, Division of Transportation. Uh, I am here to provide an update on Navajo DOT. One of the things that we worked on um, this year was to get a full management team. So we are proud to announce that our team is now completely uh, on board. Uh, we're able to hire uh, Mr. Calvin Castillo to run transit uh, Angelina Owens is now the compliance manager. Uh, William Rains is the airport facility manager. And Orlando Bowman is the highway safety manager. So now we're going to start working on um, filling the remaining positions at Navajo DOT. When I got there, we had over 50 vacancies. And so now we're starting to work with the managers to get those uh, uh, positions hired for. If you're, if you're wanting to come work for us, uh, our positions will be advertised on the uh, Navajo Department of uh, Personnel Management on their website, www.dpm.navajo-nsn.gov. So go on ahead and uh, check on there. 
Uh, right now, one of the positions that we're uh, in, uh, advertising for is the deputy division director. Uh, this deputy division director is going to be hired to be the um, team leader for the aggregate material. When I say aggregate material, what we're talking about is um, uh, gravel, water, fill, everything that's uh, all the materials needed to get a uh, transportation project done. So if you know of anybody that has experience in uh, engineering or in the environmental sciences, have them come join, uh, uh, apply for the deputy uh, division director position. Uh, the other thing that we've been working on uh, is an assessment of the division, uh, which includes personnel, finance, internal control, separation of duties, and reporting. Uh, personnel, again, we're hiring finance. We are uh, now able to generate reports, uh, internal controls. We're setting up mechanisms where uh, different people review different things rather than just one person approving things. Separation of duties is the person uh, that is requisitioning, shouldn't be the one approving, shouldn't be the one receiving, shouldn't be the one paying the bill. So we're setting up all those mechanisms uh, within the Navajo DOT. One of the things that we're really excited about is we're going to be conducting a chapter outreach program. Uh, in this, we're going to do eight meetings, uh, 13 or 14 uh, chapters for each meeting. Uh, we're trying to keep the agenda consistent. We started out with uh, the five agencies and because of the different numbers of chapters within each of the agencies, it was difficult to keep it consistent. So we finally settled on, on eight meeting dates. And the dates are going to be April 22nd of the Baca Pruitt chapter, April 23rd at the Navajo DOT office in uh, Metmore, April 24th in Delcon, May 8th. Uh, it's still to be determined, but that will be for the Western Navajo Agency. May 9th will be in Rock Point. May 10th will be in Chinle. May 13th in Sanosti. And May 14th in Crown Point. Uh, the way we'll be conducting this one is we're going to be reaching out to each of the 110 uh, chapter presidents and they'll be able to pick four people. Uh, who they pick will be at the uh, uh, chapter uh, president's discretion, but they will be the ones presenting. And then uh, along with this initiative, we're working on a web-based uh, transportation project reporting system that will be housed on our website, uh, www.navajodot.org. And the way we wanna set this one up is all the projects, whether it's federal highway funded, whether it's fuel excise tax funded, the um, New Mexico state funding, all of those funding things will have one place where all the projects will be updated. We want to get out of the habit of having meetings to update people and um, having people work on projects instead of attending meetings. So that's the initiative. We want to, we're going to be working very hard to roll that out in the next eight weeks so that it becomes available so that you can check all of your projects. And if you want to see what projects are in your community, uh, that will all be in there. It'll contain um, the project manager information, who the contractor is, what stage of the project it is. Uh, there's multiple stages in doing a transportation project. It can be either in the planning stage, the clearance or compliance stage, or the uh, design stage, and then the construction stage of it. So each one of those will be highlighted in the, uh, the website. So we're looking forward to getting that unveiled so that we can be um, more transparent in our information sharing with uh, the chapters, with all the stakeholders. The other part that we're working on is the accountability for tribal permits. That's underneath the highway safety section. There is a provision inside the approved plan of operation uh, for conducting uh, driver's license uh, checks. Uh, but what we wanna do is um, create a approved policy uh, that will go to oversight uh, so that everybody understands that this is the procedure that we'll be using. So we're looking forward to getting that done within the next month, month and a half or so. Uh, one of the changes that's going to come out of it is tribal permit costs are going to raise from $5 to $12. The reason that we need to do those increases, we'll be running the um, uh, driver's license check uh, prior to an individual receiving a tribal permit. Uh, we did a test uh, on, my, on my driver's license took about three minutes from beginning to end, and that report was generated and given to the, the highway safety section. So that's what we're kind of excited about to increase uh, accountability. Uh, a couple of projects that we have going uh, yesterday or Monday, uh, we did a groundbreaking for an $8 million airstrip replacement project in the community of Chinle. Tomorrow, uh, next week, on the 27th, There'll be a ribbon cutting in Bird Springs for N71. That's been a project that's been worked on for a few years. Um, and so the uh, meeting will be, or the, ground, or the ribbon cutting will be at about 1 o'clock p.m. 
So we're hopeful that uh, some of the people come out and join us on that. Again, uh, we have vacancies. We want people to come apply, come work with us. Uh, again, my name is Tom Totero. If you need to get a hold of me, uh, my best way to get a hold of me is by email, uh, ttotero at navajodot.org. A um, couple of other things that we've been working on is initiatives with our partners with federal highways, state, county, and BIA. We just had a meeting this morning with the uh, Eastern Navajo Agency BIA, BIA office. So we're looking forward to additional partnership meetings, particularly the chapter meetings that are coming up. So with that, I want to say thank you to everybody for listening in and I uh, appreciate your continued support. Yeah.